So four years in, you decide to found the Tobias Literary Center. I know you're still friends with everybody uh, at the Seymour Agency as you're moving over. So what does founding, why, why is that the time to found your own agency? And what does founding your own agency allow you to do that you can't do at the Seymour Agency? Um, frankly, I can do whatever I want. <laughs> well, I mean, that's, that's literally the difference. I can do whatever I want. Um, I mean, at Seymour, I, I have to check with the bosses. I have bosses. We all have bosses. But, you know, here at Tobias, I can I can do whatever I want. Um, I can fire someone. I can have a retreat. I can tell people, go on vacation. And it has nothing to do with anyone else other than I just get to do whatever I want. I mean... I was never a corporate nine to five person. And I mean, even at Seymour, nowhere, I don't think it's a nine to five job unless you're in corporate America at CAA or, you know, one of those mega corporations. But um, yeah, that's it. I just get to, to do whatever I want, whenever I want it. Um, and, you know, I think most agents are able to set their own schedules, knock on wood, I'd like to think. Um, but yeah. So yeah. what, uh, what does your ideal schedule look like? Um, I think part of the attraction is not having one. Fair enough. That, you know, if I want to wake up at 11 a.m., I can wake up at 11 a.m. Because, you know... I have a program that lets me schedule emails. So the night before I send something out, I'll schedule the email for 8 a.m. the next morning. So maybe I can sleep in till 9 and know that email went at eight, went out at 8 a.m. So that Great. makes my job a lot easier. What's the name of the program for anybody that wants to do likewise? Let me look it up. Oh, okay. <laughs> Let me go to what is this? Oh, okay. It's on my Chrome because Safari won't use it. Um, I'm looking it up right now. It is um, okay. It's called Banana Tag. Very cool. So I'll let you schedule all the emails. So if you feel inspired to get caught up at 3 a.m., you can do that, schedule them all to go out in the morning, and then you sleep until whenever you feel like getting up and getting back to it. Yep, yep. I, I, I can't express how much banana tag has helped my life. And I only learned about scheduling emails from another agent years ago, and I'm not remembering his name. And I feel bad I don't remember his name because I'd like to give him credit. Yeah, I can't remember. Well, I assume that's good because if or one, one, or one benefit of that, I assume, uh, is that if you've got an author that you want to say something encouraging, like, hey, do, do this bit of a rewrite, and you schedule it for 9 or 10 a.m., even though you wrote it at 9 o'clock, if you send it at 9 o'clock and the, and the writer is up and, you know, oh, my gosh, you're interested, let me respond immediately with five questions, whereas if you hold on to it the next day, that maybe cuts down on that a little bit. Yes, yes. And I really love it because I'm able to send submissions to editors 8 a.m., 9 a.m., so I'm the first one in their inbox, and, you know, I'm such a nerd, I did a little experiment of my own, and that's the best time to do it. 8 a.m., you get the most responses. Really? Yes. And I saw a Twitter discourse a while ago, editors saying, no, you need to send it at 10 a.m., that's the best time, but not according to my quote-unquote research. I get the most responses 8 a.m., well, 10 a.m. sounds dangerously close to, to lunch. Mm. See, I'm not in corporate America anymore, so I don't know. <laughs> it's true. You're having lunch whenever you feel like it. <laughs> I'm having lunch whenever I feel like it. 